Okay, good day everyone. We are back in the good life. Uh, where, wh what are we doing? Uh, oh, get my cursor off the screen. Uh, looks like we are heading somewhere, but where? Ah, ah, uh, yes, I remember over there. Don't remember why just yet, but I'm sure it'll come to me. Um, okay, so we've got nothing that we can teleport to because there's not like a, a shrine in town that I can use. That's where I could go up and use one of these, but I'll just run towards the... Yeah, let's just run towards the place. Okay, we're part of the way there. Not the whole way, but I thought... As we haven't seen this part of the map yet, I thought I'd... Um... Oh, cool, what am I doing? Whoa, where'd it go? Wow, you sneaky rat. I thought I'd uh, chime in and we can um, see what we can find over here. Uh, just a group of houses at the moment. Um, can nick your stuff. Oh yeah, we can do the whole grooming thing, that's right. Hey, yeah, we're nice and groomed. Not entirely sure what like, stats that boosts, but clearly it boosts something. Uh, see what this bloke has to say. Go on to Bob after I finish work and throw in a pack of pint with my chums is the only thing that gets me up in the morning. Partner that up with a good Cumberland sausage and you're set mate. Obviously we're gassing about the same shot every day but what's so great about that? No need to fix what ain't broken. Okay. I'm fine with that. Just casually talking about alcoholism there. Um, sticky sap, sap taken from a tree. When applied, it has the power to strengthen certain fabric, fra uh, fabrics. And, oh, oh, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> uh, what about woman? What does woman have to say? Hey, random question. Do you get the difference between ale and lager? Ale is made through top fermen fermentation, while lager is made through bottom f fermentation. Um, okay, thank you. But the biggest difference is taste, of course. Of course. Uh, okay. There's something up there. Uh, how do I... Oh, look at that! It's blue light coming from the shrine. Interesting. Glass bead. A round glass bead. Puff people often mistake them for jewels when they find one. Can be used as material. Ah, oh, the bed flew away. Um, okay, now well, we'll carry on. Oh, what's this? Butterfly wing and sage seed. Caution, red squirrels crossing. Fair enough. Uh, let's see if we can find some red squirrels. <laughs> Can't do anything with that, apparently. Unless maybe I have to be human. Oh, hello. No, oh, that's not what I wanted, but alright. Not what I wanted. Turkey meat. Meat taken from a bigger bird that most. What? Meat taken from a bigger bird that most. Often roasted with. Uh, whatever. Whole for big dinners around Christmas time. Cookable. Well, we're not far from Christmas in real life at the moment. Um, both when I'm recording this and when it will eventually go out. I think it'd be like um, a week and a bit till Christmas when this one goes out. Okay, so we've got a nice red... What, what are these always here? These like laser things. Rabbit meat, nice. Quail me and a small animal hide. Ok, 
Okay. What do we have here? Oh, okay, so a red one is one that I haven't looked at yet. The Kingswood. Oh. No road doth lead to the King's break, an unseen path there is to take. Yet, since the path can't be perceived, you will arrive right as you leave. Creepy as hell, right? And they don't. And they just started singing it out of nowhere. Why, it's elementary, my dear Hayward. The song is the survival guide to the Kingswood. It means finding the unseen path is the only way to get through the woods. The unseen path. Dogs are capable of sensing that which humans cannot, yes? You already found that out that I can turn into a dog too. The paint that John gave you should be swimming in Martha's scent. All you need to do is memorise it and use it to track her down. Oh, and don't forget to pray at the shrine before you enter the forest. I'm sure you'll be glad you did it later. Yes, I just hope I'm glad. I just hope I took some money out. Transform into a dog and talk to Nor Norlock, homeless. I have got some money, yes. There we go. Uh, not kitty cat. Doggy dog. Dog, dog, dog. Okay, uh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, what I was actually looking for is the paint set, memorized fragments. Okay. Right. Aha, uh -huh. it flew away from me. Here we go. Norlock, homeless. Oh, I got an achievement just then. Ruff, ruff, ruff. <laughs> you look positively gallant, my dear Hayward. Now, let us locate the unseen path, shall we? Memorize the center of Marvel's pain set and track her down. Yeah, we already know all this. I've done it already. Thank you very much. All right, that's that one complete. And now the king's word. Here we go. No, that's squirrel. Oh wait, it it forgot it. Thank you. Oh, a woo! Smashing. Now it's time for us to uncover the invisible path. It's Wednesday. Okay. What? Behold, my dear Hayward, new footprints. He must be hot on Martha Berryman's tail. Trail, rather. <laughs> uh, but I must say, this wood is a thick one. Keep your wits about you and let your sense of smell guide you onward. Fish and chips. Alright, alright. Yeah, exactly. I, I was in the middle of doing it. Stop it. Okay, over here. Alright. Over here. No. This way. Oh, um, she went up here. Okay. Uh, pot Potobello mushroom. A large mushroom with a thick cap over its ten centimetre long. That's over centimetre. Well, known as superfood for how healthy it is. Uh, uh, no. Uh huh. Oh. More hand holding. More footprints, my dear Hayward. Jumping from. 
What jumping? Judging from the size, shape and gait, they must have been a bit in a bit of a hurry. She knows exactly what, where she's going. We need to catch up fast, but look at all this overgrowth. Only your nose knows how the true way through the forest. Don't lose sight of Martha now, my dear Hayward. Well, I wouldn't if you... Uh, don't lose sight of her, but you told me to use my nose. Ah, oh, whatever. Ah, oh, God. Stop with the hand-holding. It's just weird how sometimes it'll give you loads of information like this. And then other times it'll just tell you one thing and you're just supposed to... Yeah, it's just weird. It's like the developers were present for some of it, but not all of it. I don't know. Um, the reason I keep doing this is because it's adding her icon to the mini-map. I don't know if that's important, but I'm doing it anyway. It might be an easier way to, you know, get out of this place if we can't use the shrine for whatever reason. Oh god! The fox is even stronger than the dog. Ah! Uh, keep going! Okay, I think he's left me alone now. Right, okay. Over this way. Oh, looks like there's another shrine. Indeed there is. It appears that we found ourselves a clearing, my dear Hayward. <laughs> I knew I was right to put my trust in your keen canine snout. Hey, ah, oh, you're just saying that. Still, there's no telling whether, when the weather may change and cast the scent trail into the abyss. We need to keep our wits about us or else. Let's make haste. Yes, and chips. The Kingswood complete. Okay, head to the royal tomb. Let's do that. There we go. Interesting music. Oh, missed it. So, it's cut. It's like an action movie music, isn't it? Like where they're trying to track down somebody. Oh, a beaver. No, oh, too fast. Okay, Martha still going off in this direction. Time. Okay. Not sure why that had a different glow about it, but it did for whatever reason. Wrapping leaf. Um, large flat mushroom. A matured mushroom with a thick aromatic cap. Right, okay, is this it? Are we here now? I guess so. Is this a grave? Indeed, the royal tomb. Every nook and cranny of this mausoleum is filled with intrigue. Look up at the sky, my dear Hayward. Seriously? Holy crap. I am far have been an expert on the occult, but I feel... Uh, I feel this barrier may be some type of black magic. Or whatever reason, the royal tomb exists in its own in, of perpetual night. It's times like these in which I wish I had... could enlist the help of uh, the great Flaxman Lao. No. Don't think so hard about it. You're basically inside a big natural planetarium, right? Your ideas are so, always so novel, my dear Hayward. Perhaps you can use that mystifying imagination of yours to solve the next mystery as well. The next mystery? Spirals mark the true king's tomb, scrolling ways with the ancient doom. Riddles alone protect the treasure, so try to tie what craves that ever. Yeah, hey, creepy song with my hat and more lyrics to it. You want to use some stupid kid song as justification for raiding a tomb? Finally, I and I thought nothing fun would ever happen out of this hellhole. Uh, 
Okay. So, what we got here? Uh, oh, what's this? Might that's it. Oh god, uh, I didn't need to pick it up. All right. Uh, so I'm not going to put it on pedestals, I assume. What's this one say? Let me check it. I got this one. It's just a picture of a tree, right? Fortunately. Picture. These are ancient pictorunes. Tree and life, that's what they represent. Hmm. It looks like the swirly one half has been erased. Erased? No, it looks like whoever drew it never bothered to finish it. Yes, pedestal is probably meant for something that represents these runes. What? What I mean is we need to find something that represents a lifeless tree and place it there. Okay, I think I saw a flower pot over there. Yeah, there we go. Or a jar? Hmm. What the fuck? Uh, okay, let's have a read of the other first. Um. What's with the round and squiggly things? They, oh, okay. Time and energy is what they mean. Seriously? Really? But they just look like patterns. As does the alphabet. This pedestal is probably meant for something that represents these runes. What? What I mean is we need to find something that represents the flow of time and place it here. Okay, flow of time. What's this star mark for? Star mark? Oh god damn it. Yeah. Do you really think that I'm dumb? I'm just wondering why they are so many of them. Uh it's meant as a plural, of course. Oodles of stars, one might say. Okay. We need to find a bright starry sky and offer it up here. Um I guess I'll take a picture of the sky, I don't know. Um, and then what about this one? Shroom, yeah. Oh, uh, I didn't mean that one. Very straightforward. Uh, represents the room. A bit trickier than it may look, though. You think so? I'm asking you to put something that can instantly be recognised as a man, you see? Okay, so that's the knight. <laughs> look how she's walking with it. Oh. Jesus. Uh, okay. Is that good enough? I don't know. Uh, a jar. I'm going to assume... What? Your back hurts. Attack power went down. <laughs> I'm going to assume this one is the... Not that. Come on. Gosh, she's really slow at turning. Uh, this one. There we go. And then... I guess this one would be... A tree topper? Uh, oh, hang on. Star ornament tree topper. Well, that wouldn't represent the flow of time. Maybe it's meant to mean the stars? Okay. And then I'm missing one. Oh, God, I don't know. Uh, maybe this one is the lifeless one. Because I can't say this would be... So what, this one is to do with the flow of time? I mean, it's got water in it. Maybe it meant literally the flow. Uh, okay, that doesn't appear to have done anything. So I'll face all you like I won't solve the riddle for you. How about you turn the cogs in that hundrum of your brain, brain of yours and focus on the finding the secret entrance? Okay. Okay, is there like another thing that I'm missing? Antique hourglass. Oh my god, there we go. Say oh my god, it didn't take that long. It's just more annoying than anything else. Get rid of the jar. Interesting. I had a click. 
Okay. I didn't hear a click for any of the others. Okay, let's try the garden name here. Oh, oh no. Oh, actually, that was different. Maybe I should have read it. Never mind. Okay. Well, let me look at my photos. Hmm, okay. I don't know why it won't let me look at my photos, but it won't. Uh, okay, well, let's stick this one on here and see if this makes a click. Can't say that it will, but no, I don't know. Um, there's nothing else that I'm missing, like, around the edges there. Big potted leaf. Nope. Okay. What else we got? Uh, how far can I go? Hmm, quite far, which is kind of annoying. Um, doo -doo. So is that is that everything then? Oh wait, nope. Here we go. Lion statue. I don't know what that would be. Uh, we'll bring it in anyway, see if we can... I can't see that it will be this, but we'll stick on anyway. Wait. What else we got? Oh my god, we got loads! Uh, potted, potted. Potted. Wood. Maybe that one's meant to symbolise the... Um, lifelessness. Because we destroyed it. We took nature and we fucked it up. Um, by which I mean we took the life out of it. Okay. Lovely. Okay, so that one's right. Um, so the star ornament isn't, isn't right. No. What else do we have? Anything over here? I don't really like it. Alright, let's go back up those stairs and see if there was... What else there was? So there's the potted fin tree. That's it. Hmm. Don't think this is for any of them. But we'll try it anyway. And then what have we got? We've got potted pink... Dronariums. And potted lemon cypress. Maybe one of these symbolises the sky or something. Uh, I'm just going to try to keep, you know, um, I, 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 I don't know what. Okay, okay. Take it, take the gnome off. Maybe one of these resembles the sky because of it needs the sun to grow or something, I don't know. Right, and then... Apologies if you hear me sniffle, I do have a little bit of the cold. I will try to remove as much as possible. But sometimes I sniffle mid-sentence and it's difficult. Uh, anyway. Nope. Okay, I don't see any of these being a symbol of man. Oh, what have we got here? A broken clock. Um, I don't see how this would be. No. Okay, so I do need to find other stuff. There is clearly other stuff around here. Oh, what's this? That's oh, just a pretty tree. Pretty tree. Honestly, Naomi. Huh? Where do you think you're going, Miss? Okay, so I went a little bit too far. Um, didn't see anything over there either, so... Just searching the perimeter, see what I can find. Okay, well, it puts X's over everything, so perhaps if I do this, I'll be able to uh, see if there is uh, an item somewhere. Doesn't look like it. Oh, 
a war? I don't understand that one. Oh well, I guess we're gonna do the, the same over here where I just stick everything on until something happens. Oh yes I do, it's a reflection. Reflection of the sky. I don't know what the instantly recognisable as a man one would be. Interesting, I feel like I've tried everything. Last, um, not, oh, whatever. No, okay, right, so I am missing something. It, I mean, okay. Uh, oh, if that's true, the answer, Martha would have never gotten past this part. No time to shine through. You held the power to change them, redefine the true form of subjects right there in the front of the ledger yard. Blah, 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 blah. So, my a picture of him. How do I put the picture down? Come on, let me enter. Well, what was that? Oh, it's the, the skipping animation. Oh, wait, I co completely forgot about the lion statue. Um, if this is it, I don't actually understand the question. Um, unless it's meant to be like a, a, a purposefully misspelt, you know, a lion has a mane, not a man, you know I mean? Uh, that was it, I, wherever. Huh? huh? Holy crap, I think I did it. Oh, she said that. <laughs> I'm the brains of this partnership. More importantly, my dear Hayward, I've one more observation for you. Sure. There's a limit to how much strength a human can exert. Perhaps you'll be able to exert more pulling power in a rather different form. Okay. Uh, yank on the chain. I didn't sign up for this. It must be... This thing must be heavier than the gates of hell, god damn it. There's a fine limit to how much strength a sickle human can exert. You need to transform into a more powerful form and pull with all your might. You could help me, you know. Elementary. I'm afraid I'm more help to you mentally rather than physically. You, however, seem perfectly fit for the task. Bloody hell. Okay, so a dog. Oh. Uh -uh. Fair enough, okay. Four legs are better than two. Oh my god. Recognize that sigil, am I supposed to? Halt and kneel in the presence of Britain's one true queen. Sorry, but I'm American. We learn about equality in elementary school. And that Columbus was a hero, ironically. Come on, lady. One true queen? Don't you think that term's been a little overused by now? I know you Brits like your LARPing and all that, but why? You gotta be so dramatic. Insolent cur. This title is our birthright, bestowed upon on us uh, by the blood of our ancestors. Your knavish words insult the very name of King Arthur himself. Sorry, but I don't care. Neither do I, if I'm being honest. I'm British, so. Uh, Alright, so you're a descendant of King Arthur, fine, whatever. 
that still doesn't mean the damn sword over there is katana think about it king arthur called his sword excalibur right we admire your bravery to step unerring into the darkest dark depths of our history but that's all that is all we feel for you katana is a mystical sword in which spirits dwell and are the only of its kind forged from the ancient Pekitish sorcerer it served as a symbol of King Arthur's might as he found on this very soil a sword that I loved by all my ancestors. As I thought, the true Christian was indeed a female picked warrior. Why is elementary? Christian and knight at the round table was a knight at the round table, however the origin of her name actually lies within Pictish culture. The letters of Christian prove Pictish warriors served King Arthur. We did not serve him. Our ancestors were King Arthur's equals, his fellow contrepreneurs. Or compatriots, rather. But following King Arthur's death, his history books were rewritten so as to remove the inconvenient truth. Our ancestors was once wed to King Arthur. She passed right after giving her birthright to the Lord's child. Only after her death death to those scoundrels who fashioned themselves wizards and knights at a round table appear. And so Katana was stolen and renamed Excalibur. And all who knew about the true connection between the two names were lost within the annals of history. Unfortunately. You can say with certainty that the Katana lost during the English Civil War was even really was what? Who can say with certainty? Okay, Dan, that was a good story. It was just a story, right? Do you have any conclusive proof? We are the proof. That is what you expect us to say, was it not? The pendant's name is Katana's Edge. It's a crystal filled with ancient sorcery where spirits dwell within. Without this, Katana is naught but a heavy stab of steel. Uh, slab of steel, maybe? Uh, anyway. It was passed down by our grandmother as she lay on her deathbed. This pendant is what enabled us to endure all the suffering that life has brought down upon us. Now, now it is time for Katana to finally awaken from her slumber. People uh, of the world, <gasps> your true ruler has returned. Hey, bargain bin Sherlock. I didn't sign up for this shit. My next deduction may sound suspiciously like an acknowledgement of your defeat from a detective who's lost all his rationale. But it appears we are in danger. The scram, man. No, my dear Hayward. Remember our mission. Mr. Wright gave us a key and told us to save Martha. They shit me? You mean Redman knew this was going to happen? The probability is high. Martha's mind has fallen terribly out of balance. If she were so brandish a magical sword in this condition, the repercussions could be insurmountable. Fairy tales can't can kill people, right? Well, does that poor woman's Sherlock have any sharp ideas? Just one, a rather classical tried and true methodology. Methodology. Uh, just say whatever you can to uh, get her to stop. Seriously? Me? Are you nuts? Honestly, I believe you have a far higher chance of success than I. Look fine. Martha, hey. Hold up, girl. We need to talk. We must fulfill our ancestors. Damn it, she isn't even listening to me. You are the one true queen. In the name of Arthur's Pendragon, the world will be... Ah, oh, that's it. Time to pull out the big guns. Martha, listen up. You'll never be the one true king, you hear me? queen, you hear me? Never, never, never. Do not think you can deceive us with your serpent's tongue. We are the one the true queen, the rightful heir to the throne. Let us hear you say that again after you see this. <sighs> Martha, I can prove it. There's one big reason why you'll never be the queen. <sighs> oh, William! <gasps> Oh.
Okay. Uh, what the fuck? Privy, return me to the lake. Uh, sure. Down into the water. Tis nary a place for me in the human world. I come to bury, not to praise. Giveth me the one true slumber, together with my king. Okay. Oh, uh. Thou art recognized, hero. Okay, I think that's the uh, Zelda, uh, well, Link. Um, sort of cheer thing that happens when you pick something up. I haven't played Zelda or Link rather. Zelda Link that's having here. Yeah. Right. Throw Katana into the damn lake. Back to the lake, huh? I come to bury, not to praise. That's our history for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Phew. Whoa, that was a close one. You almost got me to... with this... What? You almost got to me with all that melodramatic... melodramatic bullshit. What was I thinking? I bet I could make a killing off of you. Talk about priceless family heirloom. I could probably pay off my entire debt with you alone, baby. Yeah, baby. Finally, some good luck comes my way. Oh, why dost thou refuse to release me? Will you pay off my debt if I do? Say yes and I'll think about it. Were I to call upon the spirit's strength, I could bestow upon thee riches most heavy. Oh, really? Then I'll do it. Show me what you got. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, require, uh, I require my payments up front. Now come on and spit it out. <laughs> huh? Just chop me back in the lake. Not bloody rocket science, is it, love? Or is it even that too much for you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, suddenly you uh, don't sound like much of a spirit anymore. How dare you! I'm the real deal, me. From my hilt up to the pointy bit. <laughs> the spirits are supposed to sound fancier and uh, use more ellipses and stuff. I'm picturing a, somebody like shaking their head backwards and forwards, or like, you know, look at him, so full of, you know. Yeah. Centuries now, you flesh sacks have had me chopping each other's bits off like there's no tomorrow. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I guess being a spirit isn't as easy as it looks. Maybe she gets it. Now stop being a bell end and throw it in the lake, all right? Or would you rather I crawled under your pillow and screamed, throw me back, until your mind caved in? <laughs> nope. You really have a natural problem, you know? Throw me back! Throw me back! Throw me back! And you're really annoying to boot. It's for your own good, you know. Interesting, she said to boot. I thought that was an English saying. Why is she saying it? Maybe she's been in England too long? I don't know. Just let me get on with my life. I've taken to playing MMOs and there ain't nothing faster than the Spirit Network. Well, okay. Do that and you don't have to lose sleep listening to me bitch nighty night out. Win win. <laughs> so this is what you meant by not belonging in this world. I really had the wrong idea about Throw you. Me back. Oh. Throw me back! Throw me back! Throw me back! Well, I'm open to the idea, you know, depending on what I get for it. Sorry, but I'm totally broke from buying too many loot boxes, so <laughs> <laughs> as long as she doesn't say the C word, we're fine. Throw me back! Throw me back! Throw me back! Throw me back! Just shut up already! <gasps> oh shit. You broke it! <gasps> oh dear. Oh well, it stopped talking at least. And most importantly, no one saw what happened. Maybe it's smarter if I sell the pendant and the sword separately. Yeah, Take that, you stupid spirit. This is what I call a real win-win. 
I owe me. I get the feeling you're gonna go down in history for all the wrong reasons. Hmm. That's not what it says there, but alright. Are you okay with that? A few days later. At first, Naomi seemed dead set on using Kurtana for her own personal gain. But after thinking it over, she realized she might get arrested for theft. <laughs> And so she returned the blade, begrudgingly, to avoid becoming a debt-laden prisoner. Once Kurtana got confiscated as evidence, Martha readily admitted that she'd taken it without permission, but she denied having any part in the murder of Elizabeth. For the time being, she was put under house arrest at the White residence. Meanwhile, Katana was locked away in the town hall as key evidence connected to the case. As for Katana's edge, it seemed to have been lost in all the chaos. Morning Bell's team later discovered a very similar item on a popular online auction house. One furious bidding war later, and it was on its way to their lab in New York for analysis. Of course, all the profit Naomi managed to gain from this scheme was intercepted and swiftly redirected to the appropriate people. Oh dear. Yeah. All right, finish my report. <laughs> I'm going to drink up a storm tonight because yeah, I'm the drink queen. Okay. Why does it always have to be so damn slow? Okay, it's up. Finally, I can check my mail now. And then I can finally exact some revenge on good old eBay. Okay. Dear Naomi Hayward, this is... Oh yeah, we already know that. Thank you for your amazing report. Well, excuse me, I could barely still... Sit still. I was so excited. I do have some more unfortunate news though. Honestly, it's infuriating, but the documents containing information on Katana and the One True King had a C mark on them, meaning it's confidential. There are many, multiple reasons for this. The biggest problem is that letting this information out could endanger Martha Berryman. Currently, there is a surprising number of people in the UK who believe that the current royal family is not the proper one. Of course, there are so many people that, who have pledged unflinching loyalty to their current royal family. I imagine that 99% of these people are peaceful, but there are always a few bad apples in every group, aren't there? In any case, due to the underground movements like that, imagine what would happen if someone revealed the fact that King Arthur's bloodline survives, not to mention the fact someone has stopped up. What? Has stopped up to inherit the once lost katana? Good. What? Uh, whatever. Uh, in a worst case scenario, so I might try to murder Martha. We did scientific we did scientific analysis on Katana's edge in our lab. But the final verdict was that they couldn't verify whether or not it was genuine. Uh, this is especially bad from Arthur since it means that the object could easily appear in a re as real to someone who wanted it to serve the real as the real thing for nefarious purposes. Incidentally, we also considered selling the object to the Department of State. Uh, but that was quickly changed but we quickly changed our minds yesterday when our fearless president posted a tweet that read I found a group e pendant on eBay called Katana's and bid on it. I never lost a bid in an any auction before and after I became president but I lost this one before or after I became president but I lost this one for unknown reasons unknown something isn't right with this shitty site I want the auction transcript yes on a personal note my mother really loves Martha Berryman's painting style when I was working at home one night she happened to look at my screen and fell in love with the pa that painting of the giant once this whole thing blows over please introduce Martha to her I received a report from the investigative team regarding the opinions of private detectives who, encountered, who you encountered in the Raven Woods. From both a historical and scientific point of view, we have no choice but to contradictory stance. Take a contradictory stance in regards to his opinion on Raven Woods and Avalon. Honestly, many of our researchers found detectives' theories amusing, and some also commented that, combined with Mr. Berryman's eyewitness statements, they were they are worth looking into. 
But then Dr. Anderson lost his temper and claimed that entertaining such delusions, let alone wasting time discussing them, is nothing short of a crime against human civilization. In the end, it looks like our researchers weren't passionate enough about the Avalon theory to stand up to Dr. Anderson. As far as my personal opinion goes, the theories surrounding King Arthur are certainly interesting, but it's hard to imagine anyone doing a proper academic study investigation on things like Avalon and Morgan Le Fay. Naomi, you don't believe in all that stuff about people turning into animals, right? But yes, I figured I'd try to keep it from you, just you just find out eventually. So rather than you get mad at me later, I'll tell you now. I'm pretty sure the first one who found the Katana's Edge you were selling on sec your second eBay account. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm the first one. Yeah, it looked like a beautiful pendant, so I bid on it. Then the price gradually got higher and higher, so I posted about it in our Slack channel, wondering if the seller had put the wrong price on whether or not it was an incident worth investigating. I'm pretty sure that's when things got out of control. Uh, now I think about it, I'm not sure why I felt, I felt the need to apologise to you, but I'm sorry nonetheless. Just goes to show you can literally never let a story get too big or else you'll lose a chance to profit off it. Life just never seems to want to give me a break. The era, succession of the throne is always a thorny area, Naomi. And likely as not, it'll probably always be that way. Bearing in mind Martha Berryman's safety, it's not hard to understand why Morning Bell did this. But it doesn't change the fact that you just scored a massive scoop. Keep on like this, and there won't be a skeleton left in Rainy Woods' closets. Woohoo, only 27 million to go. Okay. Play the Mercy epilogue. Oh, we can uh, cook a few things now. Let's try this. The red squirrel. Critical success. I'm stuffed. Nice. Right, well that's where I'm gonna call it for today. Um this is a longer episode part than normal. Um that's not on purpose, it just that puzzle took forever and then and then um and then those cutscenes went on forever. Um anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, if I'm being honest, I'm not sure how much more I'm going to play at this game. I, I, I like it, but it's just a bit too much talking. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. Have a good day, everyone. I'll be you soon. Bye.